Mm -hmm. uh, well, the research that I am doing is um, taking place in China on the Yangtze River. Um, in a, uh, I'll be living in a town called Yichang City, but um, where it, I'll be focusing on the Three Gorges Dam, which is um, upstream of Yichang um, in a small, what was a small village called Sandalping. Um, and is now the home to the largest dam in the world. Um, that dam resettled, uh, caused the displacement and then subsequent resettlement of about 1.13 million people. So that's the, um, that's the official figure, but there's all sorts of figures um, up to about 4 million I've seen that have been displaced by, by the project. So my research is interested in um, what, what's happened to the people who have been resettled, how have they reconstructed their livelihoods in a new location. And I'm particularly interested in the people who have moved um, uphill from where the dam has been constructed. Um, so they removed all of the cities, the villages that were um, in the path of that construction. And um, people were moved all over China. Um, initially, the plan was to move people uphill, um, but the area, the carrying capacity of the area is such that they couldn't support that many farmers um, and that many new uh, urban dwellers. So uh, people were moved to uh, Xinjiang and to Shanghai. Um, so this is um, the first longitudinal study of this population. Um, it's also one of the only um, only longitudinal studies of a resettlement population. There's one other that I know of that has been followed over a, um, a number of decades in, in Africa. Uh, so I first did research with these um, resettlers back in 2004 um, as part of my PhD research and um, now this will be what has happened eight years on. Have people managed to adapt? Are they still living in the area? Um, my sense is that um, most of them have probably started to migrate out in search of better opportunities um, in the east coast provinces um, or even outside of the, uh, their, um, within their own province. Um, I also, we have a research collaboration in China um, with China Three Gorges University, which um, is based in Yichang City, where I'll be living with my family. And um, with um, a team of students, we'll be going out to survey um, the, as many of the people from the last survey that we did as possible, if they're home. <laughs> Um, resettlement around the world has unfortunately been done very badly, despite good intentions of um, improving policies, um, um, really trying to work towards improving livelihoods, um, not just displacing people, but ensuring that they're actually settled in the new environment. Usually it means that people are impoverished through the process. Um, so the aim of my research is to look at a longitudinal um, outcome and, and to understand what's happening um, with the resettlement um, beyond just the project cycle, which is when normally any sort of monitoring would finish. Um, and then to use that information more broadly to um, work with um, international development banks and with um, private consultancies that I have links with in China to create some sort of um, um, handbook that could be used by consultants in the field to. Um, to do better resettlement, to, um, to have more holistic planning where they don't just look at raising incomes of the resettlers but they're actually considering their, um, all the different forms of capital the resettlers have including their social, human, all those social networks that get dissolved by being displaced and really thinking more broadly about what it is, what, what a livelihood is and what it means to be displaced and to have that livelihood interrupted. So that's that's probably the main um, outcome, I suppose, of, of the research. And that will really be a part two of the research because I'll spend a lot of time with these organisations creating something that's also useful to them in the field um, and, and practical because at the end of the day, these are planners that need to go out there and work out how populations can move so that they construct, can construct these projects.